Let me ask you something. Why aren't you recognizing your own worth? Why do you think always being available to someone will make them appreciate you? Why do you believe that bending over backwards, sacrificing your peace, and constantly showing up will make them see your value? Don't tell me you're not doing it, because from where I'm standing, you are. You're making yourself too available, too eager, too willing to please. And let's be real, this is happening because of you. Your fear, your desperation, your need for validation. So, let me ask you again, how many times are you going to let someone treat you like an option? How many times will you allow them to treat you like someone they can turn to only when they feel like it? Are you here just to chase after someone who doesn't even appreciate what you bring to the table? Do you think that trying harder will finally make them notice you? How many sleepless nights will you spend replaying every conversation, waiting for them to reach out, hoping they'll come around? Stop. Stop telling yourself that if you just give a little more, they'll change. Stop convincing yourself that you have to compromise your peace to be worthy of their attention. Here's the truth. If you really want them to notice you, to understand what they had in you, there's only one thing you need to do. Disappear. Step out of their life completely. No warnings, no explanations. Just silence. The harsh reality is, they won't miss you until you're no longer available. They won't value you until they feel the emptiness that your absence creates. That's when the shift happens. So how long are you going to keep waiting for someone to wake up and see your worth? How long will you keep chasing people who barely acknowledge your existence? If you want them to realize what they lost, it's time to walk away. Not gradually, not half-heartedly, completely. Reclaim your power and leave them to feel the void you leave behind. Now don't think disappearing is about ghosting or playing games. It's about reclaiming your self-worth and showing them you won't stick around to be ignored, undervalued or disrespected. You don't owe anyone an explanation for valuing your own time, energy and peace. And the moment you stop showing up for people who don't appreciate you is the moment they start realizing just how much your presence meant. Silence speaks louder than words. It forces them to confront what they lost. But here's the kicker. They won't just miss you. They'll start to crave you. When you vanish, you become a mystery. They no longer have access to your energy. And that drives them crazy. They'll wonder where you are, what you're doing, and most importantly, why they didn't see your value until it was too late. Humans are wired to desire what they can't have, and when you become unavailable, their longing for you skyrockets. This is where the dark side of Stoicism comes in. Stoicism teaches emotional control and detachment, but by disappearing you take it a step further. You remove yourself entirely from their life, and that throws them off balance. They start to question everything. Did you find someone else? Are you happier without them? What did they do wrong? And here's the beauty. You don't need to answer any of those questions. Your silence does all the talking. At the end of the day, this isn't about them. It's about you. It's about knowing your worth and refusing to settle for anything less. You're not disappearing to manipulate or hurt anyone. You're disappearing because you've realized your value. They couldn't see it when you were always there. But the moment you step away, they'll understand just how irreplaceable you are. So, here's my challenge to you. Disappear. Let them miss you. Let them feel the void you leave behind. And when they come crawling back, you'll know one thing for sure. You never needed them. They needed you. That's when you'll understand the power of disappearing. It's not about running away. It's about stepping into your own strength and letting them experience what life is like without you in it. But disappearing is just the start. There are seven small steps you need to take to fully reclaim your power and make them realize what they've lost. Stick with me because things are about to get interesting. You don't want to miss this. 
Before we dive deeper, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this. Believe me, you'll want to stay connected. What's coming next could change everything. Now, let's set the tone with an affirmation. I know my worth. Yes, if they're not seeing your value, it doesn't mean you're not valuable. It means they're blind to it. But you, you know your worth. Say it with me again. I know my worth. Don't just say it, own it, and don't stop there. Drop it in the comments. Let the world see your confidence. More importantly, remind yourself that you are worthy of the attention and respect you deserve. Ready to learn those seven small steps that will flip the script and make them miss you like never before. Let's begin. Shift your focus. All right, let's be real. If you feel the urge to reach out or contact them, it's likely that your thoughts are entirely wrapped up in them. They've become the center of your world. You spend every waking moment thinking about them, overanalyzing their actions, trying to figure out why they've pulled away, why they haven't called, or why they're treating you like you're just an option. Here's the hard truth. They're living rent-free in your mind, while to them, you're barely noticeable. Let that sink in. You're burning all your energy thinking about someone who isn't giving you the same in return. They're out there living their life while you're stuck in this mental cycle, handing over control of your emotions, your mood, and your day-to-day -day well-being. That needs to end now. This is where shifting your focus becomes crucial. It's time to redirect that energy back to where it belongs, onto you. The reason this step is essential is straightforward. The more you think about them, the less attention you're giving to yourself. You're wasting valuable time, energy and mental capacity that could be spent improving yourself, growing smarter, stronger and more fulfilled. Every moment you waste thinking about them is a moment you could use to create the life you deserve. Why are you giving them the keys to your happiness? Why are you letting someone who doesn't prioritize you take up the most important real estate in your life, your mind? Think about it. How often do you find yourself checking your phone, waiting for that text, that notification, that sign they're thinking about you too? And how often do you end up disappointed? The longer you stay trapped in this cycle, the more your self-worth erodes. You become reliant on whatever crumbs of attention they offer, hoping that maybe this time they'll finally notice your value. But the truth is, they won't until you see your own worth first. Part of recognizing your worth is realizing you deserve better than waiting around for scraps of their attention. So, how do you shift your focus? It's not just about distracting yourself or pretending they don't exist. It's about putting your energy into things that build you up, that make you feel strong, confident and alive. Here's the truth. People are naturally drawn to those who focus on their own growth, passions and life. When you shift your focus back onto yourself and away from them, you stop being the person who's waiting you become the one who's thriving. Imagine this. Instead of obsessing over why they haven't texted back, you decide to start that workout routine you've been thinking about. Or maybe you finally dive into that hobby you've always wanted to explore or commit to a project that excites you. Every time you choose yourself over them, you're building yourself up. You're becoming stronger, more interesting and more independent. And here's the kicker. They'll notice. When you're no longer readily available, no longer making them the center of your universe, it creates a gap. They'll start to wonder why you're not chasing them, checking in, or waiting on them. That gap. That's when they'll feel your absence. That's when they'll realize what they've lost. But here's the thing. You're not doing this for them. You're doing this for you. Because let's face it, they're not the answer to your happiness or your fulfillment. You are. Shifting your focus is about taking back your power, your time, and your life. It's about recognizing that you are worthy of love and attention, 
but it starts with you giving it to yourself first. It's not what happens to you that matters, but how you react to it. Right now, you're in a situation where someone's indifference has made you question your value, but you have the power to change that. You can choose to react differently. You can choose to stop chasing, to stop giving them the satisfaction of controlling your emotions. You take back the reins by focusing on the one thing you can control, yourself. Here's a real life scenario. You're trying to attract someone new, but they're hot and cold, distant and non-committal. You've been putting in all the effort, trying to show them how much you care and how much you're worth. But instead of reciprocating, they pull back, making you feel like you're the only one invested. So, what do you do? Do you keep giving them your energy, hoping they'll eventually see your value? Or do you stop, take a breath, and redirect your focus? When you stop investing in someone who isn't investing in you, something incredible happens. You start to see things clearly. You realize that you're not at their mercy, that their validation isn't something you depend on. You are whole on your own. And as you grow and invest in yourself, you start to attract the kind of attention that doesn't require you to beg, chase or wait around. Yes, it will feel hard at first. The urge to reach out will be strong. But each time it comes up, remind yourself of this. You are worth more than being someone's afterthought. You deserve to be the main character in your own life, not a side note in someone else's. When you shift your focus, you stop living for their attention and start living for your own fulfillment. So what can you do when it feels impossible to hold back, when the urge to contact them is overwhelming? Do something productive for yourself, whether it's going for a run, reading a book, learning a new skill, or simply sitting in silence reflecting on your goals. Take that energy and invest it in you. That's where your real power lies, in your ability to control where your attention goes. Remember this as you redirect your focus. The more you value yourself, the less you'll chase after those who don't. The more you invest in your own life, the more you'll realize that their presence or absence doesn't define you. You define you. So here's the next affirmation to keep close. I choose myself. Say it own it and leave it in the comments to let me know you're following along. This is your moment. Choose yourself. Stay grounded in your worth. Shift your focus and watch how everything changes, not because they finally give you attention, but because you've stopped needing it. Breathe through the urge. Let's be real for a second. When that urge to reach out hits, it can feel like a massive wave crashing over you. The need to hear their voice, see their face, or get just one reply can feel overwhelming. You feel that tight knot in your chest, your thoughts are racing, and you're consumed with what-ifs. You're waiting for that text, hoping for any sign they remember you. But when that silence stretches out too long, the temptation to contact them feels unbearable. Here's the tough reality. You cannot give in. Every time you chase them, every time you reach out first, you're handing them your power. Why would they miss you if you're always the one making the effort? Why would they value you if you're always there, showing that you're ready and waiting for them to notice? This is why breathing through the urge is your first and most important step to regaining your control. Think about it. What's really going on when you feel that strong need to contact them? It's not just about them, it's about you. It's your fear of being forgotten. It's your insecurity whispering that if you don't make the first move, they'll forget you exist. But Stoicism teaches us that we don't control others, only ourselves. Seneca said, we suffer more in imagination than in reality. And that's exactly what happens when the urge to reach out strikes. Your imagination is creating suffering, building up scenarios that don't exist. So what do you do when that wave hits? You breathe, you pause, 
you take a moment to regain control. Inhale deeply, hold it, then exhale slowly. In that breath, remind yourself, nothing is actually happening right now except in your mind. You are not in danger, you are not losing anything. In fact, by staying silent, you are holding onto your value. You're giving them space to wonder, to feel your absence. Imagine you're trying to attract someone new. You've been texting, flirting, showing you're interested, but it feels one-sided. They're distant, hot and cold. You want to keep pushing, show them you care, but that's where most people go wrong. Each time you chase, you prove one thing. They don't have to do any work. You've made yourself so available that they don't need to invest in you. When you stop reaching out, when you breathe through that urge to message them, something shifts. Suddenly, you're not orbiting around them anymore. You're creating space. Space for them to wonder why you've gone quiet. Space for them to start missing the attention you once gave freely. Now, let's talk about relationships that have gone cold. Maybe your partner has become distant. You might feel the need to fix it by giving more attention. But the more you chase, the more they pull back. Instead of smothering them with attention, breathe through that need and step back. As Marcus Aurelius said, you have power over your mind, not outside events. You can't control if they text you back, but you can control how you respond. By staying grounded and choosing silence, you exercise the ultimate form of self-control. While you're maintaining your silence, they're left wondering. They feel the void that your absence creates. Trust me, they will notice. People feel it when the energy they've gotten used to suddenly disappears. They'll start questioning why you've pulled back, whether they've lost your attention. It's human nature. We only start to appreciate things when they're no longer easily accessible. So when you're feeling that unbearable urge to reach out, remind yourself, if they valued you, they would be reaching out too. If they were invested, you wouldn't have to chase them. Your silence gives them the chance to meet you halfway. And if they don't, then that silence tells you all you need to know. When the urge feels impossible to resist, it's not about suppressing your feelings, it's about redirecting them. Take a walk, go to the gym, pick up a hobby. Every time you want to reach out, do something for yourself. This reminds you that your life doesn't revolve around them. You are whole without them. Marcus Aurelius said, waste no more time arguing what a good man should be. Be one. In this situation, waste no more time waiting for them to validate you. Be your own validation. Breathing through the urge isn't just about winning a small battle over impulse. It's about stepping into a stronger version of yourself, one that doesn't need to chase anyone. So here's an affirmation to close this out. I control my mind. I control my actions. I choose peace over impulse. Let this sink in. You are in control, even when emotions try to tell you otherwise. When you resist reaching out, you reclaim the power they once had over you. Build the new you. So, once you've mastered controlling the urge and shifting your focus, it's time to move to the next stage, building the new you. This is where the real change happens. This is the step that takes you from feeling lost and unappreciated to becoming someone who radiates confidence, self-worth and undeniable strength, the kind of person they'll regret losing. Now let's clear this up. The new you isn't about changing for them. It's about evolving into your best self for you. It's about seeing your potential to grow, improve and become the person you've always wanted to be. When you start focusing on your growth and building the new you, they'll notice. Everyone will. You won't need to chase approval because your energy will naturally attract attention. The first part of building the new you is self-assessment. Take an honest look at where you are right now. What areas of your life have you been ignoring because you were too focused on them? Have you neglected your health? Is there a skill you've always wanted to learn but never had time for? 
Have your goals been on hold because you were too wrapped up in someone else's needs? Now is the moment to be truthful with yourself. As Marcus Aurelius said, the impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. The obstacles you've been facing, whether it's heartbreak, rejection or self-doubt, aren't the end of your story. They are the starting point for your transformation. Use them to fuel your growth and build yourself into something greater. Every setback is an opportunity to rise. So, what does building the new you look like? It begins with setting goals focused entirely on your personal growth. Think about which areas of your life need improvement. Your physical health, your career, your hobbies or your mental clarity. Make a list of what you want to achieve, but remember, it's for you, not for anyone else. These changes aren't superficial. They're deep, lasting transformations that align with your true self. For instance, maybe you've always wanted to start a new fitness routine, but kept putting it off due to relationship drama. Or maybe there's a creative project, like writing or learning a new language, that you've been meaning to start. Now is the time to go for it. Invest in yourself. Put your energy into becoming the person you've always dreamed of being and watch how everything around you shifts. Here's an important point. Don't announce your changes. Let your growth speak for itself. In a world full of oversharing, there's power in staying silent. People will notice the new you, not because you told them, but because your growth is undeniable. The people who took you for granted will start wondering what's changed, why you're suddenly so confident, why you're no longer seeking their attention. The reason? You've stopped seeking validation from them because you've found it within yourself. Building the new you also involves changing your mindset. You're no longer waiting for someone else to notice your worth. You're no longer hoping your absence will make them miss you. Instead, you're becoming someone so strong and centered that their opinion no longer determines your self-worth. The new you doesn't need validation from anyone but yourself. And when they do come crawling back, and trust me, they will, you won't be the same person they left behind. You'll have evolved into someone who knows their value and doesn't settle for scraps of attention or respect. The new you won't need them anymore. By this point, you've created a life so rich and fulfilling that anyone who doesn't add to it simply isn't necessary. Think of it like planting a seed. It doesn't grow overnight. It takes time, care and patience. But once it starts growing, it becomes strong and undeniable. That's what you're doing right now. You're planting the seeds of the new you and in time, you'll look back and realize that this transformation was the best thing that ever happened to you. Now for the closing affirmation of this step. I am committed to my growth. Say it out loud, feel it and let it sink in. You're no longer waiting for someone else to validate your worth. You're taking charge, investing in yourself and becoming the best version of who you were meant to be. Every step forward, Every small action you take is a powerful move toward your own evolution. Keep this affirmation close because your growth is the foundation of everything you're building. I am committed to my growth. Own it, live it and let it guide you. Don't fall for the traps. Now that you've been focusing on yourself, shifting your energy and building the new you, here's where it can get tricky, the traps. You've pulled back, disappeared, and started to reclaim your power. But don't be surprised if they start sending signals to reel you back in. Maybe it's a random, hey, text, a like on your social media, or an unexpected message out of the blue. These small gestures, they're traps designed to pull you back into their orbit. This is where you need to be strongest. Do not fall for these traps. They've grown used to your attention, your presence and the comfort of knowing you're always there. When you vanish, it shakes their sense of control. So, what do they do? They send a breadcrumb, 
just enough to make you question everything. But remember, these are nothing more than attempts to regain the upper hand without actually putting in the effort to show up for you. Here's the harsh truth. If they genuinely valued you, they wouldn't be sending vague signals or testing the waters with half-hearted gestures. They'd make a real move, a meaningful effort. But these traps are designed to keep you hooked without giving you the respect or commitment you deserve. Let's break it down. What does it look like when they're setting a trap? It might be a casual text, a comment on your post, or a random, how have you been, message. It's vague, just enough to get your hopes up, but don't be fooled. If they truly realized your worth, they wouldn't be breadcrumbing you. They'd come back with real intention, ready to meet you where you are. In these moments, when they're trying to pull you back in with tiny crumbs of attention, you must stay focused. Don't engage. Don't fall into the trap of thinking this time will be different if they're not showing real effort. These breadcrumbs are a form of control. They want to keep you hanging on, but not enough to give you the relationship or respect you deserve. As Marcus Aurelius wisely said, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. In this situation, it means you can't control if they reach out with traps, but you can control how you respond, and the best response, no response at all. By not reacting, you reinforce your power. You remind yourself, and them, that you're no longer playing their game. You've built a stronger version of yourself, and you're not settling for crumbs anymore. So here's the next affirmation. I deserve more than crumbs. Say it, feel it, and let it be your truth. You are worthy of more than half-hearted gestures, vague texts, or breadcrumbs of attention. You've come too far to settle for less than what you truly deserve. Real effort, real commitment, and real respect. Every time you're tempted to fall for their traps, remind yourself that you are building a stronger, more powerful version of yourself. Hold on to this affirmation. I deserve more than crumbs. Own it, live it, and let it guide your choices moving forward. Your life, your rules. Now that you've pulled back, started growing, and learned to avoid the traps they set, it's time to fully step into your power. Here's a simple truth. Your life, your rules. You're no longer living by anyone else's expectations, waiting for their validation, or bending yourself to fit into their story. From this point on, you decide how you want to live, what your priorities are, and who deserves access to your time and energy. When you stop living for others and start living for yourself, everything changes. You no longer need to explain yourself, justify your choices, or seek approval from anyone else. This is your life, and you are the one in control. You set the boundaries. You decide who stays in your world and who doesn't. No one else holds the pen to your story. You do. You've already begun reclaiming your power by pulling back and shifting your focus. Now, it's time to fully embrace that power, whether it's choosing the projects you work on, deciding who you spend your time with, or setting clear boundaries. Remember, this is your life. No more bending over backward to please others. No more waiting for someone to choose you. So, let's move to the next affirmation. I live by my rules. Say it, own it, and feel the power behind it. You're no longer living to meet someone else's expectations or waiting for their approval. From now on, you make the rules for your life. You decide how you spend your time, who deserves your energy, and what your priorities are. You're in control, and no one else gets to dictate your choices. Hold on to this affirmation as you confidently take charge of your life. Challenge yourself. Now that you've set the rules for your life, it's time to take things to the next level. Challenge yourself. Growth doesn't happen when you're comfortable, and if you want to become the best version of yourself, you need to push past what's easy. Whether it's physically, mentally, or emotionally, challenging yourself 
is how you break through and step into a new reality. Think about it. How often have you stayed in your comfort zone because it felt safe? You may have avoided taking risks, trying new things, or stepping into the unknown because it was easier to stay where you were, but that's what's been holding you back. The only way to grow, evolve, and become the person they'll truly regret losing is by constantly pushing yourself to improve. Maybe it's setting new fitness goals, learning a skill you've always wanted to master, or doing something every day that scares you. Every challenge you take on strengthens you, boosts your confidence, and distances you from the person who once settled for less. The more you challenge yourself, the less you'll rely on others for validation. You'll realize that the only approval you need is your own. So, here's the next affirmation. I rise to every challenge. Say it, own it, and live it. Every challenge brings you closer to the person you're meant to be. You are capable of far more than you know, and the only limits are the ones you set. So step up and take control. Decide from strength when they crawl back. Here's the moment you've been building toward. They will crawl back. They'll feel the absence of your attention and the undeniable shift in power. But when they do, you must remember, you're deciding from a place of strength now. You're no longer the person chasing or waiting for their approval. You've grown, evolved, and the power is in your hands now. When they reach out, don't rush to respond. Don't fall into old habits of immediately giving them your attention. Instead, evaluate the situation carefully. Are they offering something new, something meaningful, or are they trying to regain control using the same old tactics? This is where your strength comes in. You now have the power to choose whether they're worth your time and if they deserve a place in the new life you've built. Just because they come crawling back doesn't mean you need to let them in. You're stronger now, more self-aware and fully capable of deciding what's best for you. So let's move toward the final affirmation. I decide from strength. Say it with confidence because now the choice is in your hands. You hold the power and you decide who stays in your life. Choose wisely and always prioritize your worth. Thank you for joining me today on this journey of self-awareness and growth at the Wisdom Hub. Don't forget to watch our next video appearing right on your screen to continue enriching your life with stoic wisdom. Thank you for being part of our community. Until next time, stay wise and stay serene.